we are at the BBC Speaking Awards where students can speech and uh, today I will be speeching about technology if it's bringing us closer together or pulling us further apart. And I really hope that public speaking will help me with things like self-confidence and being able to build a personality around other people and influence them and impact their lives with my words. I want to study languages next year and my teacher thought it would be a great opportunity to practice my English. I'd like to try myself and um, prove to myself that I can speak in front of the public because it's been quite a big fear for me since a young age. Public speaking is extremely important. I think it's a pity that it isn't practiced more at schools. I think Belgian education isn't really focused on giving a public speech. And that's a pity. Of course it's important. It's talking in public. It's telling people what you think is right. It's telling people your own opinion, expressing your opinion. It's, a, it's an important part of society, of us, of human being. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to the BBC Public Speaking Awards 2015. I ask questions. What do I mean by questions? Questions can be anything, starting from when you raise your hand in class, ending with doubting the facts that you're told in class. The real problem is how we're learning all those things. And this is what I want to talk about today. I think that education as a broader concept doesn't really kill creativity, in my opinion. Yet, it's the current school system that does. Education tricks us into thinking we can never be wrong, that we should never make mistakes. Uh, the candidates have a five and a half minutes of speech time. Uh, after about four and a half minutes, I will give them a first cue, which is the flag. I will just raise the flag, put it on the table, uh, then, after about five minutes, I will give them a first audio signal, which is the click, they'll hear that. And then, after five and a half minutes, I really have to stop them, so if they go over time, they'll hear the bell, and we'll stop there. Bye, bye, bye. I'm afraid I have to stop you there. We, society, may sometimes see other people as uncultured. I strongly believe that technology is pushing us apart. How many hours have we all spent scrolling down the internet when we could be real life talking to our friends? Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in a town far, far away. Well, not that far away actually, but anyway. You can prepare your speech very well, of course. You know what you're going to say. You can control your body language more. Um, but then when the questions come, yeah, then it's really up to you to, to respond to what's happening. So that's the part that makes the difference between um, a candidate who's good and a candidate who's really fantastic. Should this new way of thinking start at schools or at home with parents? Isn't that a bigger problem than just technology and social media? Is there maybe a way in which we can learn from that process itself? It's very difficult to come up with an answer that quickly. We're still thinking about this the speech you've given and what did you do wrong there and oh they're asking me a question at the same time so a bit distracted. It's not really what I'm defending today. I'm more about poaching and cruelty, even though this is cruelty. Have I answered your question? I feel relaxed and really happy. I'm a little bit proud also and I hope it's going to continue but it's not a problem if it's over because we did it. My teacher said it was very fluent and my questions were alright. So I have a chance but I'm not going to jinx it. Some students manage to catch our attention because they tell us stories. They're clear, they're convincing. The level is very, very high. What a joy to be able to share your ideas with us in an inspiring public speech. What we expect from our public speakers is that they go beyond that learning by heart status and become bright and inspiring personalities. Thank you. So, then the moment you have been waiting for.